Today we're going to show you the Galeta Lo Neighborhood Tour Part 2. If you missed the Part 1, it's in the description box below. Hi, I'm Roddy and this is my wife Landy. We moved to Querétaro, Mexico in 2021 after retiring early through real estate and share our life here in Mexico. Let's get it started. Romy and Liz, back to you. So now we'd like to talk about neighborhoods that are on the border of outside of Querétaro downtown area. It's still walking distance, but they're really, really good neighborhoods. We're going to talk about Quintas del Marqués, Carretas, um, San Javier, Jardines de Querétaro, Pate, and Alamos 2 and 3. So the three neighborhoods that we just mentioned, which are San Javier, Pate, and Jardines de Querétaro, are kind of meshed together. And what we like about them, obviously the range of the rentals are very affordable, anything anywhere between 11,000 and maybe up to 18,000. Older homes, but they're close to the Mercado La Cruz, and they're also really close to the aqueduct and Bernardo Quintana, which is a really common thoroughfare. So it's accessible to, if you have a car or if you use public transportation, we really encourage you to look in these neighborhoods. Let's talk about Quintas del Marques. What Quintas del Marques can offer to you? That is an old neighborhood. The kind of houses you'll find will be more or less between medium size, but also small size. Also some apartments. It has a hidden place, which we call Los Arquitos, which is a replicate of the actual aqueduct, which is the symbol of the city. And uh, one hospital, one uh, government hospital, a major grocery shop, but mainly local shops. And you have access to main roads in the city. Price range for the properties in Quintas del Marques will be between 12,000 pesos up to 20,000 pesos. Now, let's move on to Carretas. Ooh, Carretas is so beautiful. If you are looking for a green space for a nice park in the middle of the neighborhood, this is the place. This neighborhood will give you access to bigger houses, 300 square meters more or less, and the price range here will be more or less between 18,000 pesos up to 30, sometimes 32,000 pesos. But you know what? You'll have great spaces inside the property. Front space, backyard, also. Galeza is another neighborhood that I recommend. It's really close to the aqueduct. It's on the east side of the downtown area and it's close to Bernardo Quintana. Lots of restaurants in this area, nicer restaurants, bigger restaurants, lots of family living, good prices between 13,000 and 19,000. You can find a really good place. Older homes, I highly recommend Calesa. Next is something that we call Alamos 2 and 3. Why do experts like, I like this place? Because all the greenery and the coffee shops around the main avenue. Also, you'll find uh, playgrounds, some schools for kids. What is the distance uh, between Alamos and Centro? 15 minutes walking, and you'll be pretty close to Mercado La Cruz. Now, if you are looking for a high-end luxury properties, here's for you, El Campanario. Here you'll find apartments and houses. It has a beautiful golf course and schools and a sport club. Everything is so exclusive. Some customers have, have told me they feel like in the States very very green the price range in this area will start with 30,000 pesos in the outside of Campanario but inside of a Campanario which by the way is a gated area the price range will start within 60,000 pesos 80,000 pesos more or less <laughs> all these neighborhoods that we explain are outside central, not really in central, and they will offer you bigger spaces, a little bit more greenery, and also very quiet and calm in general. So, if you want to avoid firecrackers and church bells, you should consider these areas. Now, we're going to talk about neighborhoods outside central. So these are neighborhoods where you definitely do need a car. You'll be, have access to major grocery stores, You'll have the possibility of bigger backyards, a lot of parks. They're mostly pet friendly 
And driving, they're usually around 15 minute drive to downtown central of Querétaro. Also, newer houses, a little bit newer than the areas we mentioned before. It's time to talk about the neighborhoods that are in the west side of the city. One of them is Jardines de la Hacienda, and it's pretty famous. Why? Because it has a beautiful park, green park, in the central par part of the, that specific neighborhood. It has to offer to you hospital services, medical services, but also it has a main avenue with local medium-sized stores like bakeries, restaurants, and of course groceries and places to buy your, your baggies and your meat and everything that you need. Um, the houses there are a little bit bigger and newer too. Um, and you'll have great time visiting, you know, these parts hidden around the neighborhood. The rent in this area will be um, starting 15,000 pesos up to 22,000 pesos, just to give you an idea. Right next to Jardines de la Hacienda, it starts the municipality of Corregidora. Um, if you have heard about El Pueblito and the Pyramid, this is the place. Okay, what has to offer to you? Well, the prices here will be less expensive than, you know, in the city compared to the city. And also good spaces for, your, for the property in general. There are some modern apartments up there. And if you further to the west, you'll find cozy homes, small, medium, and bigger ones, like an area called Balbonera. In the Corregidora area, we'll be able to find gated communities or houses on the street too. The ranger's price might start uh, between 12,000 pesos, but if you go to the Balbonera area, that's very expensive. Probably it'll start with 60,000 pesos and more. The neighborhoods I want to talk about now are in the su southern eastern part of the city off of uh, the downtown area, a little bit further apart, you would need a car. And these three areas are called Milenio 3, Milenio 3, El Mirador, which is humongous, and Centro Sur. Milenio 3 is a neighborhood that's on top of a hill, and it's a self-contained little community when once you live there, you really don't have to leave. You would need a car, though, to go down into the city or other areas of Querétaro. I like that it has all these shopping centers. You can find everything you need. There are high-rise apartments and there are homes. This area was established around the 1990s, early 2000s, so they're newer homes. And the price ranges here go from 18,000. You might be able to find something in the 16,000 range up to the 25,000. Now this area is it's most likely that you can find something that's furnished. A lot of parks, a lot of people uh, with dogs, but because they have more apartments, some of these places are not so pet friendly. Now, Centro Sur is at the south of the city, I would say southeast. It's an area that has a lot of offices and banks and even government offices as well. So you can find high rise apartments and you can find homes um, in the range of anywhere between 18 to 26,000. It's a newer area, big streets, wide streets. Um, the Red Cross is in that area and so is the stadium. So if you enjoy sport events, you're in the right area. El Mirador is a newer area and it's further off to the east. It's, you can do up to 20 minutes driving, especially during peak hours, so you have to be really patient, but it's really sprawling, very pet friendly, lots of parks, lots of areas to uh, walk yourself and your pets. There's a big uh, grocery store that is going to open there that ends with the word dairy air. And they're from Texas, so you can imagine that place is really popular. And the price range there can run anywhere. If you get a house off the street, it can be 13 to 15,000. Or if, it, if you choose a gated community, which there are a lot of gated communities in El Mirador, it can run up to 18, 19,000. Imagine Querétaro as a building. So whatever is in central, I call it 
first floor. Then if we go higher to one of our hills around central, I'll call it second floor. And then there is a third level. So right now I am about to talk about the second and the third floor. The second floor will be El Refugio and the Sac Sakya area. There are other gated communities around this, but just to mention uh, them, those are the main ones. El Refugio is a gated community. I highly recommend El Refugio to those people that have families or that they have a dog or pets in general. The reason is because it has two major big parks, green parks, and uh, the family can just go and walk all around. Also, while you are um, walking on the streets, you'll find hidden parks somewhere here and there. El Refugio has two major sections of businesses and restaurants. The main road to go to El Refugio and Sakya is named Fray Junipero Ser. So this main road will take you to major grocery shops and restaurants, jeans, veterinarians, like a lot of businesses. Yes, it's true, you'll need a car, but from El Refugio you are five minutes away from this main road and from Sakya you are about seven minutes away from the same road. In El Refugio, the price range will start with 12,000 pesos to 20,000 pesos and this location will allow us sometimes to find furnished places as well, also apartments and houses. Now, let's talk about Sakya. Oh, expats like it a lot. It's the newer area in the region and you'll find only houses in gated communities once you are in Sakya. What is beautiful about Sakya is that when you enter, you'll see a main avenue that has a lot of greenery all along the uh, private area. It has lakes and a lot of space for you to walk, be with your kids or your pets. In Sakya, you'll find mainly houses in gated community. Yes, in Querétaro we have a lot of that. Gated inside gated. Now, the prices in Sakya are between 9,000 pesos and 16,000 pesos probably. That will be the range. For those that choose either Sakya or El Refugio, let me give you a plus. It has a lot of international schools around, so it could be a place. Oh, and you know what? A Montessori school is included in that area. Using Liz's metaphor about the third floor, Sibata would be in the third floor. So Sibata is to the northeast and it's right above Sakya. It is a gorgeous area, a lot of mountains, really, really green and plush. The prices are higher. It has a public golf course, which is beautiful, and some sights to the city. It's just gorgeous. So the price ranges there are from 18,000, maybe 16,000, up to even 30 gated community within a gated community so it's pretty safe and you have the university there which is a Universidad de Anahuac which is one of the major universities in the country. So driving distances from Sibata from the outside gate is around 20 minutes but if you're coming in from a inside a gated community then you need to add about 8 to 10 minutes. So the final area is Juriquilla and Juriquilla is to the north of the city it's really big that's the where, place where most expats are concentrated. There are a lot of schools, international schools, and obviously that huge big uh, grocery store we mentioned earlier. There's a lot of range of rentals there. You can live within a gated community or off the street, and the range would be anywhere between 14,000 on up, maybe 28 even 30. There are a lot of high-rise apartments, really luxe, and there's also more down-to-earth properties. Juriquilla also has a lake and there are ducks. You can take your children to see the ducks and feed them, which is really nice. And there is a private golf course as well. Something else worth mentioning about Juriquilla is that it's 20 to 25 minutes away from San Miguel de Allende, which is a big expat hub. And driving distance to the downtown area is around 25 minutes. Okay guys, 
So we just mentioned some of the different neighborhoods that the uh, Querétaro has to offer to you, but there is more. So there are fun activities, sport activities like the International Marathon. There are cultural activities. Our government is so busy organizing all these cultural events in Central, and, but also concerts, you know, and cultural activities. So if you need to rent, buy, or have as an investment, we can help you whether you're single or retiree or bring your whole family. So look us up at My Place at Querétaro on Facebook. Bye! Bye.